the Battle of Waterloo, Napoleon's defeat and Europe's new order. Welcome back, history enthusiasts. Today we're diving into one of the most decisive battles in European history, the Battle of Waterloo. Prepare to be captivated as we explore the clash between Napoleon Bonaparte and the forces that sought to end his reign. But wait, was there more to this battle than meets the eye? Let's find out. Background of Napoleon Bonaparte Napoleon Bonaparte, a name synonymous with ambition, military genius, and the pursuit of power. Born in Corsica in 1769, Napoleon's rise to prominence began during the French Revolution, a time of political upheaval and social unrest. As a young military officer, he quickly distinguished himself through his strategic brilliance and leadership on the battlefield. Napoleon's military campaigns and victories played a pivotal role in establishing the French Empire. From his early triumphs in Italy to his conquests in Egypt and the stunning victory at the Battle of Austerlitz, Napoleon's military prowess solidified his reputation as a formidable commander. Through a series of political maneuvers, Napoleon seized power in France in 1799, establishing himself as first consul and later as emperor. His consolidation of power brought stability to a nation torn by revolution, but it also marked the beginning of his grand vision to dominate Europe. Under Napoleon's rule, France experienced a period of extensive reforms, including the Napoleonic Code, which brought uniformity to French law. He implemented economic policies that stimulated industry and infrastructure development, leaving a lasting impact on the country's social and economic structure. However, Napoleon's quest for European dominance ultimately led to his downfall. The coalition formed against him, comprising of European powers threatened by his expansionist ambitions, culminated in the Battle of Waterloo in 1815. It was there that Napoleon suffered a decisive defeat, marking the end of his reign and the beginning of a new chapter in European history. Napoleon Bonaparte's legacy remains a subject of fascination and debate. Some view him as a military genius who left an indelible mark on warfare and governance, while others critique his autocratic rule and the devastating human cost of his campaigns. Regardless of perspective, his impact on France, Europe and the world cannot be understated, making him a figure of enduring historical significance. Causes of the Battle of Waterloo The Battle of Waterloo, a clash that would decide the fate of Europe, was the culmination of various factors that converged to create a perfect storm. One of the key causes was Napoleon Bonaparte's return from exile on the island of Elba in 1815. His escape and subsequent reassertion of power in France reignited fears of his ambition and threatened the fragile peace that had settled over Europe. The political landscape of the time also played a significant role. The Congress of Vienna, held in 1814 to 1815, sought to establish a new balance of power in Europe after the Napoleonic Wars. However, Napoleon's return upset the delicate equilibrium and galvanized a coalition of European powers, including Britain, Prussia, Austria and Russia, against him. The coalition formed against Napoleon aimed to prevent his further expansion and protect their own interests. They saw him as a threat to the established order and sought to restore the monarchies that had been displaced by his earlier conquests. These converging factors set the stage for the Battle of Waterloo, where the coalition forces under the command of the Duke of Wellington and supported by the Prussian army led by Marshal Blücher faced off against Napoleon and his seasoned troops. The battle would determine the outcome of Napoleon's ambitious reign and shape the future of Europe. The battle itself the Battle of Waterloo, fought on June 18, 1815, witnessed a clash of military giants and a dramatic turning point in European history. Napoleon Bonaparte, leading the French forces, sought to defeat the coalition army commanded by the Duke of Wellington and halt their advance. The battle unfolded in a series of strategic moves and decisive moments. Napoleon adopted an aggressive approach, launching repeated attacks on the coalition's centre and right flank. His forces demonstrated their trademark discipline and skill, putting immense pressure on the coalition troops. However, the Duke of Wellington adeptly deployed his forces in a defensive formation, utilising the advantageous terrain to withstand the French onslaught. Meanwhile, Marshal Blücher's Prussian army, engaged in heavy fighting with Napoleon's forces earlier in the day, regrouped and made a critical arrival on the battlefield in the late afternoon. This unexpected reinforcement tipped the scales in favour of the coalition, placing the French at a disadvantage. Key events during the battle included the intense fighting at Hougoumont and La Haye Sainte, where both sides fiercely contested strategic positions. 
The arrival of the Prussians and their subsequent assault on the French right flank proved decisive as it disrupted Napoleon's plans and forced him into a defensive position. Ultimately, the coalition's coordinated efforts and resilience led to Napoleon's defeat. Wellington's strategic defence, Blücher's timely arrival and the relentless pressure exerted on the French forces proved instrumental in securing victory for the coalition. The Battle of Waterloo stands as a testament to the prowess of military leaders like Napoleon, Wellington and Blücher, whose strategies, manoeuvres and leadership shaped the outcome of the battle and left an indelible mark on European history. Congress of Vienna the Congress of Vienna, convened in 1814 to 1815, was a diplomatic gathering that aimed to restructure Europe in the aftermath of the Napoleonic Wars and the Battle of Waterloo. The Congress sought to establish a new European order based on the principles of balance of power, territorial adjustments and the restoration of monarchies. Its goals included preventing future conflicts, maintaining stability and safeguarding the interests of the major powers. The Congress resulted in significant territorial changes, with boundaries redrawn and some states dissolved or merged. Monarchies were restored in several countries, as the Congress sought to reinstate traditional ruling structures. The balance of power concept shaped the negotiations, ensuring no single nation could dominate the continent. The Congress of Vienna played a pivotal role in shaping the political landscape of Europe for the next several decades, maintaining relative peace and stability throughout the region. Legacy of the Battle of Waterloo The Battle of Waterloo left a lasting impact on Europe and the world, with far-reaching consequences that shaped subsequent historical events. Napoleon's defeat marked the end of his imperial ambitions and set in motion a series of transformative changes. The battle contributed to the rise of nationalism across Europe as people embraced a sense of national identity and sought self-determination. It also fueled the spread of democratic ideals, inspiring movements for political reform and representative governance. Moreover, the defeat of Napoleon created a power vacuum that allowed for the emergence of new global powers such as Britain, Russia and Prussia, which reshaped the geopolitical landscape. The Battle of Waterloo remains a pivotal moment in history as its consequences reverberated across continents and influenced the trajectory of political, social and global developments in the years that followed. Military and Tactical Analysis The Battle of Waterloo, a clash of immense significance, showcased distinct military strategies and highlighted the strengths and weaknesses of both sides. Napoleon's French forces possessed exceptional discipline, organisation and combat experience, while the coalition forces led by the Duke of Wellington and supported by Marshal Blücher had the advantage of superior numbers and defensive positions. Napoleon's downfall can be attributed to several factors. First, his decision to delay the start of the battle allowed the Prussian army time to regroup and join the coalition forces. Second, his reliance on a frontal assault against the heavily fortified Allied lines proved ineffective. Third, miscommunications and delays within the French army hindered coordinated manoeuvres. Lastly, the resilience and strategic acumen of Wellington and Blücher, who successfully coordinated their forces, played a vital role in Napoleon's defeat. The Battle of Waterloo influenced future military tactics and strategies. It underscored the importance of defensive positioning and the advantages of utilising natural terrain. It also highlighted the significance of coordinated manoeuvres and effective communication among different military units. Furthermore, the battle demonstrated the importance of logistics, supply lines and timely reinforcements. These lessons learned from Waterloo continue to shape military doctrines and strategies, emphasising the need for flexibility, adaptability and comprehensive planning in modern warfare. Historical Interpretations The Battle of Waterloo has been subject to various historical interpretations and perspectives reflecting the diverse viewpoints of historians. Some emphasise the significance of the battle as the decisive defeat that ended Napoleon's reign and reshaped Europe's political landscape. They see Waterloo as a crucial turning point that solidified the triumph of conservative forces and the restoration of monarchies. Others view the battle as a more nuanced event, acknowledging its impact on Europe but questioning the extent of Napoleon's defeat and the subsequent stability achieved. They highlight the continued influence of Napoleon's legacy, such as the enduring spread of the Napoleonic legal code and administrative reforms. Additionally, some historians explore the social and cultural impact of the battle, analysing how it influenced art, literature and popular imagination. 
These interpretations highlight Waterloo's symbolic significance and its representation as a clash of heroes and the end of an era. Overall, the historical interpretations of the Battle of Waterloo reflect the complexity of its legacy, ranging from its immediate political repercussions to its lasting cultural and historical impact on Europe and beyond. That's all for today's fascinating journey into the Battle of Waterloo and its lasting effects. If you want more captivating historical content, don't forget to like, comment and subscribe to our channel. Hit that notification bell so you never miss an episode. Until next time, keep exploring the pages of history.